So I'm in stand three right now, and on the map, this is down here, in the far corner, farthest away from the parking area, and I call this the biennial burn. And I call it the biennial burn because managers have been burning this stand every other year, so it's once every two years for more than a decade. And most of these burns have been during the early growing season, so that's soon after green up, um, before the middle of the summer. And the idea is to use that early growing season fire to reduce a woody understory cover and promote more grasses and forbs. But what's happened is that hasn't really worked. Um, you can see there's a tremendous amount of woody structure in here, all this sweet gum sprouts. You can see this stand was just burned this past spring, so this past April, um, April 2020. And you can see uh, it was burned after green up. So these were all the sweet gum stems in the early spring. It was burned, they were top killed, but look back, look, here they're coming back, they're coming back madder than ever. So um, what, we've, what we found is this early growing season burning is not really working very well to reduce this woody structure. Um, so we're probably getting a similar result to what we would get with dormant season burning. There are more grasses and forbs here than there were before the fire program started. There are a lot of legumes in here, desmodiums and lespedezas, uh, a number of grasses right down here. Um, this little guy right here is not blooming right now, but this is called Fragrant Goldenrod Solidago Odora, and you can actually smell it. Um, smell the leaves, it smells like licorice. So this stand uh, is fairly open. It has an overstory basal area of probably now 80 square feet per acre on average. So that's a pretty heavy overstory. Um, if you wanted more, maybe more grasses and forbs, you'd probably need to reduce the overstories through a commercial thin or through a regeneration harvest. There are patches of overstory hardwoods in the stand, so you've got some mix. There's patches of white oaks that are continuing to provide mass. There's obviously a tremendous woody understory, so that's gonna benefit um, species associated with that vegetation condition. This provides nesting structure, nesting structure for wild turkeys, uh, bedding cover, maybe fawning cover for white-tailed deer, probably more just year-round bedding cover. Some uh, woody browse for white-tailed deer, um, and potential structure for cottontail rabbits. Um, you know, if I was managing for cottontail rabbits, you need to get rid of more of the overstory trees and provide more dense understory. Um, so biennial burn, early growing season. If we wanted to try something new to do a better job of reducing this woody um, component of the understory, we might try late growing season burns in September. So that's something that um, my colleagues have been begun to recommend. So that, that's one strategy you could use here in the biennial burn.